Hi guys, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Oh, long time no see. How's everyone doing? Oh my god, I totes have pit stains in this shirt and you probably saw them. Ugh. Anywho, um, ah, bought my house, closed on my house. Ah, I'll be officially moved in on Saturday. I'll totes show you guys around. Uh, that's where I've been though. Just, uh, I'm telling you, I swear I could write a book every week on my life. Like, I'm not even kidding. If you knew, like, just, if you could just wake up with me and see what I experience every day, you would be like, I just can't believe that. I can't believe it. So I don't even want to use the excuse of my house because there's just been so much going on. You just really have no idea. Um, but anyway, here we are to talk about a product that I want to talk about. Yeah, so I feel like Kat Von D has been coming out with like a lot of eyeliners lately. It's like, all right, the girl had like two liners or something and then all of a sudden like boom, 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 every month a new liner. And I haven't been picking them up since the dagger one. I, I wasn't like a huge fan, it was whatever. Um, but this one I wanted to try because it was a felt liner and I just wanted to, just wanted to give it a try. So, I got this. Um, I believe it's launching. I believe it hasn't launched yet other than at Sephora. It did an early launch at Sephora. Here, let me see. Exclusively online at Sephora for $20 while supplies last. And tell us what you think. That's it. It was like a sneak peek. It's like they wanted to release it and then us give like our feedback on it. I believe what it is. Felt tip liner that goes on opaque over your shadow. The liquid formula is 100, but before we finalize everything else, let us know if you're as obsessed as with liner X as we are. That's worded weird. Um. So anyway, I picked it up. I wanted to try it out. Um, I know it's waterproof, smudge proof, all that good stuff because Kat Von D liners are. It's trooper black. I thought this was kind of like odd packaging. Is it because it's making it seem like it's like an exclusive, like we're trying it out? I don't know, but this is how it comes. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try. It was 20 bucks. Uh, I ordered it a couple days ago and I'm actually really excited to try this. And I thought you guys would maybe like to see it as well. So the packaging is like different from really, I don't know, I just was not expecting it to look like this. Maybe this is just like the test whatever, right? Is that why it looks like that? I don't know. I've never really heard of somebody like releasing it like this. I just thought it was odd, but yeah. So this is how it comes. Um, All right, I don't know why I felt like that lid was on strange, but yeah, it's a felt tip. Let's let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. I'm excited to try it, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, I don't even have any other makeup on. Let's just give it a, let's just give it a test. Maybe I should put you think I should put some shadow down on one eye and do it over the shadow? Or here, I'll just put some shadow on my... Let's use some P. Louise shadow. I'll use... Let's do the brown since that's nice and dark. And let's see... Uh, or is that brown? What color is that? I don't even know. All right, so we have some shadow on the hand. Let's see what the liner looks like in that, if we can see it. Oh yeah, this is a good, wow, that's still really bold. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. All right, I like this. I like this a lot more, a lot more than the dagger liner. So far, so good. The true test will be getting into the, the eyes right here. Let's get down to business. Ooh, all right, there you go. Um, and I'm gonna like kinda come down here. Are you able to see 
well i'll try to um darn it i got these lash extensions on whatever all right so i'm gonna see how i can do a freestyle like freehand wing with this because that is like that's how i judge if i'm gonna get a liner or not can i do a freehand wing like that that would that's what would sell me guys i so filmed that whole thing and realized oh my ears I realized I messed it all up. You didn't get to see anything. So here I go again to film it so you could see it. So this is going to be me applying the liner. Trying my hardest to stay on film. See my lashes get in the way a little bit. That's the problem. But uh But did you see the ease of drawing that straight line? Ah. Holy sharpness. I mean, okay, it's not the best wing, but like the line, like did you see me pull off that straight wing? Nothing better. I love this eyeliner. All right, let's come back up here. Uh, okay, guys, I like this. I know a lot of people don't like felt tips. They prefer brush tips. So I feel like I kind of jumped on the brush tip bandwagon because of it. And now I'm sitting here thinking like, wait, did I ever hate felt tips or did I just jump on the brush tipped bandwagon? Because I think I like this. Um, okay, that is like a total wreck because of my lashes. But if it wasn't for that, this would have created such a smooth and seamless wing. Like, holy... I am all about this. I'm in love with it. I like it. I recommend it. I think it's a great liner. Cat, I love it. I think you should release it as is. We know it's waterproof. We know it's smudge proof. I mean, we already know it's going to work in that aspect. It's pretty much the way the product is um, dispensed that we're trying like new methods. You know, we know the product's going to work. Kat Von D eyeliners always work. For me, it's like the brush and the, the brush tip pretty much. And I really like this. I think it glides on seamlessly. So did anyone else try this? Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know, yeah, if you're gonna try it out, what you think of like how it applied on me, if you think it worked well. Um, I think overall it worked really well and it's not patchy at all and that is something else I like because sometimes I have a problem with liners being patchy and this definitely is not. Um, and then if you get certain liners they'll even like crack almost. I'm trying to look and see if this is doing it. Not too badly. You know what? It might be a little bit but not too badly. But I have that problem with all liners. I feel all liquid liners. If you can find one that you don't have that problem, please let me know because I would I would love to try it out. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below if you're planning on trying it out or if you have. Um, head to my Instagram and check out my giveaway. Right now I have the Huda Beauty palette and I'm always posting makeup looks over there. It's linked down below. Bear with me. I'm a little slow this month due to the move, but I will be back in action here in at most another week and a half. So yeah, um, you should totally subscribe to the channel for makeup and funness. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If not, I guess give it a, I don't know. I shouldn't tell people to give my videos a thumbs down. I'm a mess. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got for you. And hopefully I could try to get another video out this week. It's not, here my dog, it's not looking good though. Um, so if not, I will be seeing you guys at the beginning of next week. I totes miss you and I love you.
Love you guys. Bye.